Hey, hi everyone. Today I want to show you uh, a quick tutorial how to isolate the object over the white background. Uh, many, many times uh, in the past I had a problem when I had to sort of isolate the object, uh, make it, uh, you know, sit down on a white background, but I had to do it like a really quickly. I didn't have enough time. Um, you know, this method, this two-step process that I'm using right now turned out to be absolute hit. And uh, I've been using it uh, for the past about three years and uh, I only have to say good things about it. So without further delay, I'm just going to go into it. Uh, I'm going to select this file, this photograph that I took a couple days ago. It's just a wine bottle um, that I take, took a picture of. It's a white background paper, but as you can notice, um, no matter what kind of lighting you're using, the white background paper will never be white. Uh, it'll be sort of off-white. So the first thing what I do, I will actually go and I will select this bottle. Now you can do it on this original file, but I prefer going it in a separate file and pasting it so it's easier to manipulate kind of like, you know, uh, area around it and uh, much less working space so I will go and select copy and I'm gonna create a new document I'm gonna slightly increase the size um, of the file just to make sure I have enough working um, area so paste it and here we are you will notice right away the difference between pure white and white background on the original file. Huge difference. A lot of shades of gray. We are we having here some shadows behind the bottle. So a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned up. Um, one of the things that I'm going to mention is um, this is the method that a lot of people are using and I'm gonna tell you why I don't. So if, you, if you're gonna go with Magic Wand Tool and start selecting the area around the bottle. So let's say we wanna delete this, this kind of grayish background around the bottle. So if I just delete and I fill with the background color, from this zoom level, everything looks pretty good. The problem is if you really go close, one thing you're going to notice is the edges of the object became really rough. So as you can see, very bumpy, uneven, and pixelated. Uh, big no-no for me because, you know, it needs to, the object needs to remain intact uh, when I remove the background. You will always find like a small little thing you miss. So this particular method can be very time consuming and again, not accurate at all. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So I'm just gonna go back to the previous state and gonna deselect. And as you can see, this is the starting point. The first step in the process is adjusting levels. So if I go to levels and I'm gonna click on my white point, make sure it's a 100% white. If you double click, just make sure it's 100% white. And I'm gonna click somewhere in this gray area. So if I do that, boom, as you can see, by doing this, I took pretty much most of that gray stuff around the bottle out. The only thing what it's left here on the bottom, and you're gonna find this in many cases, an area or spot around your object, they'll still remains kind of dirty. So this is when the burn tool comes in. I love this tool. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna increase the size of my brush to, let's say in this scenario, about 130 pixels. In a range, you're gonna select highlights. and exposure, I'm gonna keep it around 75%. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, so you will see. 
and I'm going to start cleaning it up with a burn tool. As you can see, as I move around, the cleaning begins. The thing that I like the most about the burn, burn tool is the fact that it's very forgiving. So if you go over the edge of the object, you are not going to compromise the, uh, the edge, the object itself. So you'll be able to get very, very close and to clean, the most important, to clean it very fast. Now, as you can see, everything looks pretty good. Now, if I go all the way down, like and I zoom in 300%, I'm gonna find a small little shadow left on the bottom of this bottle. Very quick and easy solution for that. I'm going to decrease the size of the brush and by doing so I can go very close to the object and clean this up, this last shadow that is right on the bottom and here we go. I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to show you so the bottle looks pretty darn good from that original state to this one in less than two minutes more you use this method the more professional you'll become and the whole process will take even less time now once this cleaned up you can you know adjust everything else if you need to um, and on, on the object if you want to increase the saturation or anything like that but um, as far as I can see, uh, this doesn't take really too long and it's very, very accurate. So I hope you liked the tutorial and we'll see each other soon.